Hi, your friends of Sustainable Montessori with a new lesson. In this case, we're going to talk about the checkerboard. We're going to use the passage that is more frequently used in lower elementary. So we have an equation here, 4,325 times 32. So to work with the checkerboard, we're going to need the mat. I recommend the mat over the board because the board, the bits go all over the place. So, but the mat also has the different uh, positions, place value positions that we use to work in the stand game and even the bit frame. So I'm going to start preparing the equation on my mat. So I see that I'm going to multiply 4,325 times 32. So I'm going to start putting my units. So it would be five units. So over the units. And I use Y for the multiplicand. So I'm going to have two tens. 300 and 4,000, so you can see the number. And on the side, on the multiplier, I'm going to use um, three tens and two units. So I'm going to put them here so we can see our equation. So now we can close this box, put it on the side, and don't use it. We have our bits. We can use this bit box, okay? That is going to help us to do our equation. So we're going to start on the first one. It says 2 times 5. So I go to my 5s and I put 2. I like to put them standing up. It's only that I'm going to have to do the operation later. I'll explain that later. 2 times 2. We're working with the units. Now 2 times 3. and two times four. At this time, students are probably still not completely uh, proficient with their multiplication facts. So that's why uh, probably, or some of them they may have identified, but it's good to do the layout first. So now I'm gonna focus on the tens. So I just hold on the tens. So I have three times five, three times two, three times three, and finally three times four. Okay? So, now this material has a control of error at this point because I can check, am I doing two times any, all the numbers? Yes. Am I doing three times all the numbers? Am I using fives? Am I using twos? Am I using threes? Am I using fours? If I can answer all those uh, questions with a yes, that means that I'm doing good. So I have two times five, and here uh, there's two options. The students can actually um, count the beats, which I don't recommend, or they can actually use their multiplication board. They have the memorization multiplication board, and they see that two times five is 10. So 10, we write it with a one, 10 would be, um, one ten and zero units. This is a good reminder that we have a zero there. Then I look at the next board and I have two times two, that's four, and one would be five. So I'm going to change it and as I show you, now I'm putting the bar sideways. That means that I already work on that square. So I can remind that I already did that one. And Two times three will be six, okay? And two times four will be eight. So we finish with the first of our multiplication parts. So now let's look at the next one. We have five times three, they are tens, because when I multiply 10 times unit, my answer will be in the tens. So that would be 15 tens will be 100 and 5 tenths. So I put 1 in the hundreds. Then I have 2 times 3 in the hundreds and 1. So that would be 7. So I can here, here, 7. So now on the thousands, 3 times 3 would be 9. And finally, in the ten thousands, I have four times three. Four times three would be twelve. 
So that means that in the ten thousands would be one hundred thousand and two ten thousands. So I put two in the ten thousands and one in the hundred thousands. Okay, and now is when we are gonna add the last part. And we're gonna be very careful to follow the same place values. So the units are gonna stay the same, but the tens, I put it with the tens. And I'm gonna put them again so I know that I haven't worked on that square yet. The hundreds with the hundreds, the thousands with the thousands, the ten thousand with the ten thousand, and finally the hundred thousand there. So now, and I continue, five on five is ten. Ten tens equals one hundred. I put 100, and because I don't have any value, I'm going to put another reminder that is a zero there. Finally, here, we have here 1 and 6 would be 7, and 7, 14. 14 hundreds is 1,000 and 4 hundreds. Now we move to the next one, and we have 8 plus 9 plus 1. So that would be uh, 18. So 18 thousands is one ten thousand and eight thousands and now I have two and one three thousand uh, ten thousands so that would be thirty thousand so now I'm ready to record my answer so I have zero units right down here zero units zero tens three hundreds Uh, sorry, four, four hundreds, sorry, sorry about that. Um, eight thousands, three ten thousands, and one hundred thousand. So basically, if I multiply four thousand three hundred twenty-five times thirty-two, the answer would be one hundred thirty-eight thousand four hundred. Thank you very much for watching the video. Now you get a lot of practice with this and uh, keep watching our videos and you can see our materials and our future play videos there. Thank you.